Armchair Tourists. Today we are off in Italy and we are on the island of Sardinia. For today's recipe we will be making a traditional minestrone soup. Sardinia is the second largest island in the Mediterranean Sea spanning approximately 24,000 kilometers. Sardinia is known where its rugged mountain meets its crystal blue sea, as nearly 2,000 kilometers of coastline surround the island. Most of the island is steep and mountainous, which results in plenty of natural exercise. It's estimated that people who live in these areas walk approximately 5 miles a day. This low impact form of exercise helps maintain bone density, muscle strength, and cardiovascular health all without any unnecessary stress on their joints. An interesting correlation to note is that the people who live in Sardinia are the shortest amongst fellow Europeans. And researchers have also noted that the shorter a person is, the longer lifespan they will live. Sardinia is rich in cultural history and tradition and is made up of several villages. Each village in Sardinia has their own special celebrations and festivals that take place throughout the year. Through their rich culture and history, they also each speak their own dialect of the traditional language, Sardo. The typical Sardinian diet is almost all plant-based, with only meat reserved for special occasions on the weekends. Most of their meals include high amounts of whole grains, such as barley, rye, and wheat vegetables such as eggplants, tomatoes, onions, beans, zucchini, and a variety of legumes. And like I said earlier, only a small amount of animal products. This includes meats such as squid and sardines, and animal products such as goat cheese and pecorino cheese. It's important to note that almost all of the Sardinian produce is locally grown, and also all of the ingredients that they use are harvested as well as hunted and fished by themselves. Another key aspect of the Sardinian diet is the daily inclusion of a glass of Cannonal wine. Consumed during a happy hour with friends, Cannonal wine is a variety of red wine made from Grenache grapes. This inclusion not only helps to reduce their stress levels, but it also contains high amounts of flavonoids, which are known to help break down artery blockages. recipe features high quantities of vegetables, whole grains, and no meat products. Meat is typically high in saturated fats, which are known to elevate cholesterol levels. These increased cholesterol levels also increase the individual's risk of heart disease. Without meat, this recipe is low in saturated fats. Meanwhile, there is still enough protein that is essential to the diet as there is plenty of beans and legumes. The inclusion of celery is also beneficial to the body. Celery contains a high amount of the flavonoid apigenin. Apigenin is a known antioxidant and anti-inflammatory compound that is capable of reducing inflammation and aiding the immune system. Now that you know a little bit about Sardinian diet and the history of Sardinia, let's get on to today's recipe. For today's recipe, you will need chickpeas, borlotti beans, red kidney beans, and cannellini beans. To make this easier, I will be using two cans of six bean blend. You will also need a can of diced tomatoes, some barley, some olive oil, some parsley flakes, some carrots, some celery, a zucchini, some potatoes, some fresh oregano, a can of tomato paste, the fewer ingredients the better, some salt, some water, basil leaves, and finally some white pepper. by washing all of my produce and then I'm going to start by peeling and dicing both my potatoes and my carrots. Next I'm going to dice the zucchini. 
Now I'm gonna finally slice my celery. In a large stock pot, I'm gonna start by heating around four tablespoons of olive oil over medium heat. And I'm gonna saute my celery and carrots for about five minutes, stirring occasionally. So after the initial first five minutes of sauteing, I'm gonna add in my parsley flakes, my salt, white pepper, basil leaves, fresh oregano, and diced potatoes. I'm gonna give that a good mix and saute for another five minutes, stirring occasionally. So now I'm gonna add in my two cans of mixed beans that I've drained and strained. Then I'm gonna add in my can of diced tomatoes, which still has all the juices. I'm gonna add in my zucchini. And finally, enough water to cover all of the vegetables. Now I'm just gonna let this bring to a boil and then simmer for about 20 minutes. Once the soup is boiling, I'm gonna add in about half a cup of barley and I'm gonna stir it and let this simmer for about 40 minutes. Once I've stirred in my barley, I'm then gonna add in the can of tomato paste. Mix well once again. And then I'm gonna put a lid on it and stir occasionally. Now that the soup has simmered for 40 minutes, it's time to serve. So in order to serve, you wanna make sure you give it a quick little toss up to make sure you get all the ingredients because the beans will sink to the bottom. Grab a nice healthy spoonful, a little bit of broth, and there you have it, minestrone soup. Thanks so much for tuning in to this episode. I hope you learned a little bit about Sardinia, Italy, and I hope to catch you next time. As always, the recipe for this minestrone soup will be listed in the description box down below.